It's time to start recording some bass for our uh, song that I recently uh, converted my drums to MIDI. And since then I've uh, created WAV files from that. So those are going to be the drums in the mix. I will be recording my bass direct using my old uh, trusty Yamaha BB405 bass, which is a five stringer. And I'll be recording two passes, one with a pick and one uh, just using the fingers. This is a cool uh, trick to uh, use for getting uh, the right sounds depending on the sections in the song. And uh, some parts are hard to get sounding right using the fingers, unless you're Steve Harris. Now, what I'll be going into is the little lunchbox you are seeing here. And I'll be plugging directly into the Heritage 73 Junior preamp, which is an amazing 1073 clone. From that, going into the Lindell PAX 500, which is a pull tech uh, style EQ. I have a little boost at uh, 60 hertz, just for some extra low end, and then going into the DVX 560A running at uh, a ratio of 3 to 1, if I remember right, just to shave off um, some um, peaks uh, here and there. Doing a little bit of compression on the way in uh, really makes a whole lot of difference. And what I'll be needing to do is record two different uh, bass tracks. So we'll insert two channels here. Uh, there are a couple of sections where I want to be using the pick, while the bulk of the track will be uh, playing with fingers. No input monitoring, as that is necessary with my setup. So we'll start with the finger uh, track, and then do the ones where I'm playing with the pick. So, both bass tracks have now been recorded. So we have the bass tracks on uh, separate tracks here now. One thing I know I'm going to have to do is do a bit of editing on the pick uh, bass. Then we have the one in the last chorus here. You can see I'm quite late here. A bit of 
bit early on the last two, I think. Very happy with that one. And as you can hear, not really much uh, that I need to do in the ways of compressing and things like that. I will be running both of these through an amp emulation later on, but uh, not until we've recorded everything else that we're going to be needing for this mix. But we now got a great foundation with drums and bass. So next up, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, record the main electric guitars. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave comments or questions if you have them. Do consider signing up for my Patreon so that you can help out this channel. And until next time, I'll play through the whole thing uh, now with the drums and bass.